Well, uh, Giz Debrient has been uh, working on the TSM and uh, looking on the TSM uh, items for a long time. Uh, actually, some of the, our uh, management team uh, people have been working with the NFC uh, since its incubation. And uh, technology was familiar. Uh, we were looking uh, kind of a how GND can position in this new technology and the business space. And uh, one of the um, reasons uh, why we kind of uh, then looked very much for the solutions and the trusted service management TSM was that there was a need for this kind of a trusted third party. Uh, let's say some uh, five, six years ago uh, when it was not even ex e existing. And uh, at that time, GND actually joined, uh, for joined forces with uh, Nokia and established a joint venture called Venian, which was actually driving just uh, this TSM uh, already six years ago. And this has, of course, then uh, created a lot of knowledge uh, throughout the last years. Uh, the, de the development of the technology as, as such, so you need to have a certain software solutions. But at the same time, uh, we have a global reach. So we are discussing with the key stakeholders like MNOs, banks, uh, transit organization, payment scheme, business MasterCard, who are very much contributing to this environment. And that has, of course, given us a great opportunity to learn as, as well as to contribute to the industry. GND has been working really in this space on enabling secure uh, connected devices like mobile phones uh, throughout the, let's say, different levels. Uh, so we are working, of course, on the standardization, uh, which is a kind of a natural uh, way of uh, getting interoperability. Uh, but standardization, especially in the new technologies like NFC, TSM, uh, is, is a slow moving. So market is actually moving very fast at the moment. So uh, you need to also have uh, different other levels to address. Uh, one of those key components is, of course, to have a direct uh, uh, dialogue with the uh, uh, stakeholders like payment schemes, if it's a NFC payment, and how you can do a secure a mobile contactless payment or any other type of uh, financial services using the mobile. So uh, that, that's, that's important as well. And of course, then we have a wide range of uh, products and uh, services available, which we are developing uh, with the other key uh, stakeholders in the industry, whether they are secure elements like SIM cards, whether they are wallet solutions, trusted service management solutions. And then you need to partner with a really wide range of uh, companies who have a knowledge of how to make all this happen so that it's secure, it's interoperable, and especially in the mobile, I think that one of the key uh, items is uh, uh, that it needs to be user-friendly. And that's, of course, a kind of a fine balance uh, to have it secure, but at the same time, user-friendly. 2012 uh, and the coming years now, um, we see market going very fast forward at the moment in NFC space, trusted service management. So there is a number of uh, banks who are very much involved already in the process of making deployments at the moment uh, for contactless proximity payment uh, using the mobile devices. Um, so they made selections, for example, their trusted service managers. They have selected their uh, mobile uh, network operator partners. Um, even further, I would say, our mobile operators, they, they really are investing heavily at the moment. So they have made their selections, how they want to uh, do the inroads to the NFC world. Uh, so all the, let's say, group uh, worldwide, they have already these decisions made. Uh, and at the same time, the industry uh, from the mobile uh, handset vendors, platform vendors like Google's, Microsoft's and so forth, are heavily investing on this one. So this is the 2012 will be the year when the first uh, implementations, uh, uh, commercial wide uh, uh, scale implementations will be made. But it's still the beginning of the totally new era. So we see that this is a very, very complex ecosystem, not only technically, but also business wise. And it takes time before you really kind of find your position as, as an actor 
uh, but also that you can attract then with the new services consumers because at the end of the day there needs to be an added value for the consumer in order there to be business to anybody.